Dr. Greenhouse, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. We've been hearing over and over the same question asked. So we thought best to come to you as a veteran in the field for the answer. Culturally speaking, all natural products are very popular and have become quite mainstream. Is there an equivalent for an all natural approach in the world of infertility treatment? Well, changing your fertility symptoms, we take a stepped approach. So we initially will start off with the simplest treatments that we think will be effective for patients. That may be timed intercourse cycles, it may be medicated intrauterine insemination cycles, or commonly referred to as IUI. If those aren't successful or if there are indications, we may need to consider more aggressive treatments, such as in vitro fertilization. What if these approaches don't work? Are there other more natural advanced treatment options? I've heard of natural cycle IVF. Can you talk about that? So, since the founding of our practice in 1991, we've always had the philosophy of doing what is right for the patient. And the bottom line is, natural cycle IVF is just not the right thing to do. Uh, the success rates, unfortunately, are very, very low compared to a stimulated IVF cycle. And we feel that the benefits greatly outweigh any of the downsides of a stimulated IVF. What is natural cycle IVF exactly? So natural cycle IVF is where they will go in and try to um, retrieve the one egg that a woman is making each month. Whereas in a stimulated IVF cycle, we use medications to get multiple eggs to grow. Great. So the success rates are significantly lower with natural cycle IVF? Absolutely. Uh, with a natural cycle IVF, uh, per initiated cycle, a woman under the age of 37 can only anticipate about a 10 to 15 percent chance of success. By the time of 38, this number has dropped to below 5 percent, and over the age of 40, it's really less than 2 percent for initiated cycle. Why is that? With a stimulated IVF cycle, we're getting uh, multiple eggs to grow, and therefore this will allow us to form multiple embryos and give us the best chance of having a high-quality embryo for transfer. With a natural cycle, there's only at most one egg that may or may not be harvested. And therefore, there's no real selection process of which embryo to put back in. Is natural cycle IVF faster and easier than traditional IVF? Really, other than the stimulation of the ovaries, the process of natural cycle and stimulated IVF are basically the same. The woman has to undergo uh, morning monitoring. They have to have the harvesting of, of the eggs um, as well. Um, so really, timelines are really not significantly different. Uh, but unfortunately, as I mentioned before, for initiated cycles, the successes are low. What about the risk of multiples with traditional IVF? Glad you asked that question. Um, while we may have multiple embryos that are being formed, um, we as a center at Shady Grove have really been in the forefront of encouraging patients to pursue what we call elective single embryo transfer. This is where we just put back one embryo into the uterus. This has markedly decreased our multiple pregnancy rate over the years, but we've been able to maintain very high pregnancy rates. Since natural cycle IVF doesn't use stimulation meds, is it cheaper than traditional IVF? Well, the upfront cost of a stimulated IVF cycle certainly is more than a natural cycle. When you kind of look at the success of treatment, that really natural cycle may end up being more expensive because they have to undergo so many more cycles in order to get pregnant. Women may have to undergo three to four natural cycles in order to equal what one stimulated IVF cycle uh, may, may result in. Um, additionally, with a stimulated IVF cycle, there's the opportunity to have embryos for um, freezing or prior preservation for future use. You mentioned frozen embryos. Can you tell me about that? So this is one of the great advantages of the stimulated IVF cycle that unfortunately is not an option with natural cycle. Uh, by having embryos um, frozen, uh, a woman, and particularly this is very important for women in their, in their 30s, may have an opportunity to lock in their fertility potential and minimize the risks of the aging, aging process that unfortunately um, is so detrimental to success rates um, with fertility treatments. Lastly, what about the emotional cost of natural cycle IVF? Can you explain what that means? So a lot of the advocates of natural cycle um, will state that not having UV injections greatly decreases the stress. And while certainly not having to handle medications uh, may result in, in less stress, uh, we strongly feel that the lower pregnancy rates probably adds more stress. And at Shady Grove, we work uh, very hard to provide teaching and support for patients. And most of the patients are able to do well with this support, with the stimulation uh, process. 
One thing that's not talked about with natural cycle IVF is the fact that less than 50% of patients may, in fact, um, have an embryo transfer. And patients of mine who have undergone natural cycle uh, state that the concerns of ovulating prematurely, not being able to harvest the egg, will the egg be fertilized, will they have a transfer, actually results in greater stress than with a uh, stimulated IVF cycle. And while there's still a potential risk of not having an embryo transfer with a stimulated cycle, this is much, much lower than what it is with a natural cycle. So in closing, what would you tell someone who is weighing the options of natural cycle IVF versus stimulated? I think sometimes making a decision can be difficult. There's a lot of information out there. And I think that patients really need to understand what treatment they're doing, what is the success, what's the likelihood of taking home a baby, how long will it take to do that. And I think if they really understand this information, the answer is very clear, that a stimulated IVF cycle is really the, the best approach for um, them to have a baby. And our goal at Shady Grove Fertility Centers is we define it the same way you do, taking home a baby. Thank you for taking the time, Dr. Greenhouse. Absolutely.